Welcome back, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to finish up our Frankie tutorial today. So we had finished up all of the eraser lines in the end of the last tutorial. We also selected all of our layer. We came over into Object. We came into Live Paint. Make. That shortcut, by the way, is K. And then we just started to fill in any of our darks. So I basically did hair mouth I did fill in this little collar right here I did fill in that little gap in between the head and then underneath the sleeve what we're gonna do is go to object expand and as long as everything is pretty well connected then at this point you could basically unite using Pathfinder all of your darks there you go so this is basically what we are looking at and this is going to be our black layer so I am just going to double click this, let's just say black lines, and this one's going to be basically hanging out on top. So I have a nice clean black line and or our darks, and all I'm really going to do is when we come in and bring in our color palette, this will more than likely modify to a dark brown, just so you can kind of see where my thought process is thinking. So here's my black lines, I'm going to duplicate that. And this is basically going to move to flat color. And then I do want to drop that guy down. So it's going to go black lines and then flat color. So let's lock out our black lines for right now. Let's select our flat color. And actually, before we do that, let's do our swatches. Let's pull that out. Let's go over to File Place. and then what we are looking for is our frank color palette again all of the resources can be found on jasonsecrest.com you will see the link in the description and that will just bring you back to the tutorial pages and on every single tutorial page there is an email form where you can fill it out and I will send you the entire folder and then you can download it at will. My recommendation is to save it as a bookmark. So you only have to put in your email once. And then you have access to the folder. So I think that is a lot easier way of doing it. Now all I'm going to be doing is doing my eyedropper. And then I'm just taking my colors and then just bringing it over into swatches. And even, I'll usually give you pretty much the hues. What I would recommend is giving yourself, depending on what your kind of style is, give yourself some uh, tints and shades. So if you're going to be adding on the shadows, you're going to want some darks. If you're going to be adding on more highlights or gradients, you're going to want a, a full range of each of these. Good. Let's go dark. And I'm going to go even lighter on this one. More than likely, this will be kind of our base eye color and tooth color. I'm just eyeballing to see if we have... I might take this guy, and let's drop that down. Okay, and that'll more than likely be our shadow as well as our uh, line color as well. So colors are in there, grab your palette, delete it, you do not need it anymore. And now we can come back over, flat color, grab it all. We're going to come down to Live Paint Make, click on K, and typically I always say do your base colors first, and then we can always come in and do highlights and or shadows. So a couple different things that Live Paint Bucket is nice for is it will one just it's very much just like a coloring book so that is the nice part but what it is also doing is creating that shape so I can come back and change that uh, on the fly and it is a very very easy process so that is also why we are doing this as well and I'm uh, you might change that up a tiny bit but for right now I think we're okay let's go dark on the pants
Now I will zoom in here. And K is the shortcut, by the way. These could turn to black if you wanted to. And again, I am just doing base, base, base. All right, let's come back in. I'll do that same cream on this one. Let's go dark here. All right, so all I'm really looking for is did I fill in all of these spaces? So again, we can always change and or modify. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go object expand, hit OK. And then just so you can see what we are looking at, I will always ungroup. And on this flat color, really not that big of a deal. Um, but all we're really looking to make sure is we can grab each one of these colors. So that is also what the sh what we're building within the live paintwork bucket. So now I can select just the pants and then I can change that color to whatever I want. Okay? Good, good, good. I'm gonna go final save since we had a nice little part here. Now on the black lines, I'm just gonna grab all of it and then I'm basically just gonna color it brown. I'm going to lock it out. Now, keep in mind, I still have black on this layer. So we might come back and, well, let's just do it now. Why not? Since we have your attention. Brown. And the reason we're doing it on both is just so we don't have any weird ghostly black lines hanging out. Okay. All right. I say file save, guys. Save, save, save. Now, things that you will see on the final... You can always go more crazy with highlights and or shadows, especially on that layer, if you like that look. Now, other little things you guys can mess around with. Uh, I'm just going to lock out the background. Obviously, you don't have to put the background shapes in if you don't want. Uh, shadow layers. But on the gradient layer, let's just say, and just so you can see the difference, is if you say, hey, I like the more extreme, I can always select all my gradients, and I can come down to transparency, and I can make those m more or less subtle depending on how I like the extreme lighting. So if you say, hey, I want to adjust the transparency of each one of the gradients, so I still want them, but I want my little bit more Halloween-esque lighting to pop through, then you just want to, you can also make them a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to go file save. Uh, this is going to be the end of Frankie. Keep your eye out for more tutorials, especially for the, uh, the theme of Halloween this month. Uh, if you are liking the channel, definitely are subscribing. Uh, I do read the comments, so if you're going through them and you have any questions, uh, definitely make sure that you guys are asking. And I always appreciate you guys staying positive on the comments since some of my students would read those. So I do appreciate that at all times. So I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for hanging out, and happy Sunday.